In this video, we're going to talk about tin volume surfaces. What tin volume surfaces are is they are a surface that compares two different surfaces to each other to find out how much volume is in between those two surfaces. And this is important because if you have a surface that's, for example, our existing surface, and you have a surface that is some form of amount of grading or work that you want to take place, then you can find out exactly how much import or export you need to have in order to complete that work. Uh, so what we're going to go ahead and do is I have hidden in this drawing a couple of feature lines that we're going to use to create a new surface. And then we're going to use that surface to create a new tin volume surface. So if you go down into the bottom here for tin vol hid, these are the two feature lines that I have that were created to create our new work surface. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to create a new surface uh, and we're going to call it work. And we're going to go ahead and have it displayed as a 2 in 10 background. And we're going to click OK. And then we're going to define it by adding in some break lines. So we're going to add them in. We're going to call them feet because they're feature lines. And we are going to have them be standard because that's how they were created. All the vertices that are included as part of these feature lines are specified to a certain elevation. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. And then we are going to select the two feature lines that we want to create our surface from and hit Enter. And then you'll see that we now have a surface in here and then we have our existing surface. So now that we have two surfaces, we can create a tin volume surface. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go back to surfaces. We're going to right click and click Create Surface again. Up in the type, we've only been creating tin surfaces. If you drop down, you can see that you can create a grid surface, a grid volume surface, and a tin volume surface. So we have two tin surfaces, so we want to create a tin volume surface. And so we're going to call this surface vol. And then we are going to leave it as a contour to and tin background. And now we get into the specifics of a tin volume surface. We have the base surface and the comparison surface. So we know that our base surface, what we want to base the amount of work taking place, is our EG surface. That's our existing ground. Uh, and then what we want to compare it to is the work that's going to be taking place. So we're going to compare it to our work surface. So we're going to click OK. If you had cut and fill factors, so if you had expansion for the amount of cut that was coming out, or you had a compaction of the amount of fill that's going in, you could implement cut and fill factors. I'm going to leave them as one. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And so what you see is this surface here is our tin volume surface. And so that tin volume surface can be analyzed by going to it and right clicking and going to surface properties and looking at statistics. And you can drop down volume and find out all of this information, the cut volumes, the fill volumes, the net cut, the net fill, and that kind of information. But you can also look at it by going to Analyze and looking at the volume dashboard and adding in our tin volume surface and selecting Vol and clicking OK. And what this does is it brings up a table of all that information as well. It gives you your 2D area, your cut, your fill, uh, your net adjusted. So uh, it lets you know, basically, do you have more fill or do you have more cut? And this is telling us that our job is weighted more towards fill and you can see that information in a net graph. We pretty much have all fill, which is the green. You would have red for cut and green for fill. So this lets you kind of visualize uh, what is going on in your tin volume surface. Now, you can, if your surface, your tin volume surface is a little outside of the areas that you want to display, like you know that. Uh, the, or I know that the feature line that we implemented right here was a was an outer boundary of that volume surface, then I can go ahead and I can go into my volume surface, go to definitions, go to boundaries. And that's the only thing you can add to a 10 volume surface is a boundary. I'm going to go ahead and add. I'm going to select an outer boundary and I'm going to select it and I'm going to call it feet. And then I'm going to go ahead and say, OK. And then I'm going to select my feature line. And now uh, you can see that feature line boundary is selected. 
And if I go and I select this, now you can see that curve here is displayed as my volume surface. And if there was some extra work taking place here, that would be uh, also shown inside of my volumes dashboard. So these numbers might be different based on the boundary that I apply to my volume surface.